Hi, my friends. Normally, this uh, was to be tutorial number 97, but uh, I accidentally skipped number 49. You forgive me, I'm 75. For the moment, let's model the part number 58 from my collection of 100 parts. The picture of this uh, part is here. It is uh, vice base. Yes, here comes uh, the mobile part of the vice. The drawing shows us a relatively simple part but we have to be careful here because there is a small horizontal line uh, not expected why because uh, these two are on the same end uh, with a dimension uh, 24 we start with uh, creating this contour by omitting uh, two chamfers this one and this one which will be placed after memorize this contour because I'm starting to create it in the plane XY I start from the center point and I uh, want to have an altitude of about 100 because 104 is uh, the whole part. Here Okay, now a small, a short line and a famous contour, another famous contour is this one and then Oh, <laughs> it's too high, but no problem. Close. I place dimensions. Uh, 104 is here, and the other are in this, uh, with an exception. 150 is the length. So 110, 16, radius of 15, distance of 24, the same as uh, the, the other round contour, and so on with uh, the other dimensions, don't forget, 150. Here is 11.35. Good. This is uh, 104. Two. Eleven and thirty five twenty four is this dimension from here to quadrant, yes, twenty four.
and the other is also 24 I copy it from this one to be equal the radius is 15 and 10 the thickness here is uh, 20 and this is 16 okay 150 and 110 110 fully constrained finished catch extrude but let me see how is the extrusion 38 symmetrical symmetrical 38 okay now that chamfers 14 plus 4 okay now I place this slot 84 radius 8 and 46 from the right side this is the face this is the slot length is 84 radius is 8 and the distance from the right is uh, 46 it must be placed coincident this line with this point finish sketch extrude extrude this cut but not on 10 millimeters but to this face okay now here is a hole through all the part a counter bore 25 12 and 11 are dimensions placed at an altitude of 56 I start sketch point somewhere same vertical with the center point 56 56 okay finish sketch hole 12 25 11 are just the needed dimensions okay look here everything is okay next let's create this uh, detail with a slot here extruded and then a reversed counter bore from the other side starting from this face with a distance till 
here and centered on this slot yes let's try to make such a great deal firstly radius 7 and distance of 23 on this face line arc line again and equal to be symmetrical dimensions are 7 and 23 23 okay extrude on 5 cut 5 ok the data for the counter bore diameter of 12 for counter bore diameter of 6 for the hole and the distance which is 35 minus 5 minus 15 yes to reach this face good hole counter bore from this face but centered on this slot with uh, 6 tap all 12 tap and uh, that expression 35 minus 5 minus 15 okay this is the hole yes very uh, interesting now there are two holes here metric 8 58 36 yes we create two points on this surface F7 1 2 they must be on the same horizontal this is the horizontal and both on the same horizontal with the center point distances between the holes is 36 and from the the right side is 58 finished sketch hole threaded without counter bore isometric profile 8 through and uh, full depth threaded okay the last thing is to create two unequal uh, a chamfer with two unequal sides 8 and 14 we select an edge apply uh, chamfer and select two distances now I 
am expected to show the edge. I show the edge, then I place 14 for this side, tab 8. Okay? Plus the other edge, which is symmetrical. Okay. Simply and effective. Material is uh, still carbon and aspect of uh, steel cast with some faces to be machined. still polished yes this is polished this is not polished I want it to be now it is okay data one point six kilograms thanks for watching bye bye